time to bring up your next comedian. You guys, make some noise for Sujit Maya. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sujit, and as you can tell from my accent, I'm not from around here. I'm from Kentucky. I have a master's in computer science from Western Kentucky University. And at the graduation, the president of the university handed me my diploma, and he said, you have graduated with honor. We think you are very smart. But we are not completely sure because for the last two years you've been with us, no one understood a word you said. <laughs> Some of the white students thought they could improve their computer grades if they started talking like me. <laughs> I didn't tell my parents that I'm here tonight because, you know, it's in India, it's illegal to do something else other than computers. <laughs> I did tell some of my colleagues though, and they couldn't be more encouraging. They said that's the funniest thing they've ever heard. <laughs> I take singing lessons, and I sing the way I talk. <laughs> At the recital, I sang Rogers and Hammerstein's famous song, If I Loved You, from their musical carousel. If I loved you time and day, I would to say all I want you to know. If I loved you, words wouldn't come in easy way. Around the circles, I go. When I was finished, this woman came up to me and she said, I didn't know Rogers and Hammersteins wrote a musical about robots. <laughs> so, people in New York are very interested about people from other cultures. They always ask me, so what's it like in the Arab world? <laughs> I tell them, I'm not from the Arab world, I'm from Andhra Pradesh. And they go, ah, oh, you're from Kentucky. <laughs> Streets of India is filled with millions of people riding bicycles and walking. But the great thing is, if you're driving, you can drive at whatever speed you want. In New Delhi, I drove as fast as six miles an hour. <laughs> My friend from India came to visit me in New York. He's from Mumbai, a city with a population of 18 million. He saw the roads in New York and said, why are the roads so empty? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't take him to my hometown, Kentucky. I'm sure he will say, dude, we are in Jurassic Park. <laughs> When I signed up for a gym, the lady told me that for an extra $75, I could get free unlimited tanning for the entire year. <laughs> I told her no, and I explained to her that my parents already took care of that. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian, and in India, vegetarians eat really spicy and really delicious food. But here they mostly eat salad. In India only cows eat salad. <laughs> I grew up in a society where your relatives come uninvited and stay in your house. And they bring their whole family, kids, grandparents, everyone. My parents would always send me to what they refer to as guest room. I refer to it as the roof. <laughs> I read that one good way to pick up women is to talk about what you do for a living. But I learned that girls are not impressed when I went to them and said, Hey baby, do you, can I buy you a USB drive? <laughs> This one woman said to me, why the hell would I want that? I said, 
Okay, how about a wireless mouse? <laughs> so I decided to stick with more standard pickup lines. I saw this gorgeous woman in a club. I went up to her and said, Hey baby, do you want to hang out with a player? <laughs> she said, that's a great idea, and she left the club. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.